Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking wave background effect using Adobe After Effects and Mia 3. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. I'm going to run with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document at around 30 FPS at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Just press OK. The next thing that you need to do is you need to create a new solid. So I'm just going to call this Mir and obviously we are going to look for the effect called Mir 3. Now Mir 3 is a plugin from Red Giant so if you need to download that before continuing on with this tutorial please do so. Once you've got that then what we're going to do is we're going to open up some of the settings here. So we're going to start with the geometry first and the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make X, Y and Z individual so we can change the X and the Y values. So the first value we're going to change and we're going to bump up to about 5500 is the size X. Size Y we're going to put it to about 4800 and so if you've done that correctly now your whole composition will be filled with uh, this kind of fractal effect. The next thing that we're going to do in here is we're going to uh, change some of the vertices. So we're going to go to vertices X and we are going to change that to let's say 1000. Then we're going to go to vertices Y. We're going to change that to about 140. We're going to go to rotate Z and we are going to also change that to 170. So now if you've done that correctly, now you will have this kind of zigzagging kind of pattern which is uh, exactly what we kind of want for our wave to work. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to open up the shader settings. And so we're going to change the draw to let's say points. And we're going to up the point size to about 7. And we are also going to change the normal effect to about 80. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will see we are actually starting to create the, the small bits and pieces that will create the waves in the final composition. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to material and we just need to change the color. So I'm here in color hunt and I'm going to be going for a bluish kind of color. So I'm just going to pick this dark color over here and then I'm going to put it back into After Effects. So now I'm just going to import the color there and now I've made it blue and now we can actually go into our fractal settings and this is where the meat of this tutorial is going to be. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to change the amplitude. We're going to bring it up to about 140 and we're going to change the frequency and we are going to bring that down to about 200 and then what we are going to do is we are going to change the oct scale to zero. And then you can play around with some of these settings as well. So going back to the amplitude, if you want it to be a bit more wavy, you can increase the amplitude. So and if you want it to be a little bit less dramatic, you can lower it down to just under 100. So I think, yeah, maybe, maybe somewhere like around maybe about 130 to 140 will be pretty cool. So now it doesn't move just yet. So what we need to do is we need to animate that. So before we animate it, we're just going to open up the repeater settings and we are just going to bring up the instances to two. And now it looks a little bit brighter. So to animate, what we need to do is we need to go and we need to find the evolution settings, which are in the fractal section. And I'm going to hold option on my Mac, Alt on my Windows PC. And I'm going to click on that stopwatch so the expressions can come up and then I'm going to write time times let's say 50 and so now we will have that cool kind of wavy effect going on and that's looking pretty cool but we're also going to add an animation to make it move from say left to right and so we do that with the scroll x so what we are going to do is the same thing there. I'm going to hold option, click on the little stopwatch and I'm going to write time times negative 100. And so now if you've done that correctly, now it will move from left to right. Because it's a negative value, it will move from this way to this way. If it was a positive value, it would move the other way around. And if you want to make it faster or slower, all you have to do is just change that value at the end. So now moving on to the final touches. What we need to do to make this uh, background kind of 
top is to actually add a background. So I'm gonna add a new solid and I'm gonna call it BG. And I'm gonna make sure that it's underneath the mirror layer. And then what I'm gonna do is I need to search for an effect which is called gradient ramp. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to color hunt and I'm gonna pick that dark blue color that we we're working with before and put it back into After Effects. So I'm gonna keep the black section and I'm just going to put the darker section in there. I'm just gonna zoom out so I can move the point of the ramp and I want it to be majority dark and you can put the point to this side if you like, which looks pretty good, but I'm just gonna keep it down here. And then once we've done that, then we need to add some glow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the mirror um, layer over here and I'm going to search for an effect called glow and I'm just going to change some of the values here so I'm going to change the threshold to about 40 and I'm going to increase the glow radius to about 80 and I'm also going to bring up the glow intensity maybe 2 is a bit too much maybe we'll go down to 1.5 or let's say even 1.3 I think that looks pretty cool and so now we have this nice glow that also goes with the waves. And I think that's looking pretty good. So the final things that we need to do is I'm just going to add another adjustment layer. And I'm going to search for an effect called Turbulent Displace. And you can see what's happening here. Like as you move the evolution, you can see that it creates a kind of wave. So what we're going to do is we are going to animate that as well as the animation from Mir as well. So I'm gonna hold option and click on that stopwatch. I'm gonna write time times, let's say 10. And so now we will have kind of two sets of waving animation. And if you think that's too fast or too slow, what you can do is you can always uh, change up the speed and the size if you like. But for me, I think that looks pretty cool. And so now we can move on to the final adjustment layer. So I'm just gonna add another adjustment layer and I'm gonna search for the effect called noise. And I'm just gonna bring up the noise to about, let's say maybe 10%. And now moving on to the final thing, the last thing that we can do is we can add some drop shadow to the mirror layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to look for the effect called drop shadow. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that it's black and I'm just gonna move it slightly off just so that you can kind of see it in the background. And now you've got this cool kind of uh, effect that I'm just gonna lower the opacity to maybe let's say 20%, just so it's very, very subtle. And yeah, and if you want to increase the softness, that's also something you can do. So you can also bump that up. But anyways, guys, that's it for this tutorial. This is a quick tutorial on how to create a waving warp kind of background effect using Adobe After Effects and Mi 3. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.